Hey, hey, welcome. Peak Performance Secrets starts right now. My name is Kamoya Benjamin, and you know what? There is more for you. Let's go for more. Welcome to today's episode of Peak Performance Secrets. And the objective of creating this content is to inspire you, is to share with you and, you know, for you to gain an insight and awareness and aha that will kind of ignite you to move in the direction of your dreams to create more, whatever more it presents for you, whether more impact, more income, more clarity, more awareness, more decisiveness, hey, whatever more it presents. I really believe in this idea of there is more and I believe that you should be going for more as well. I'm a peak performance coach and today's episode is really about the motivation for thriving. If there's a topic that I love to talk about and engage and think about, it's about thriving. I don't know, what, 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 what makes you feel like you're thriving? What makes you feel like you're thriving? I, I have never met anyone who opted out of thriving? Who was like, you know what? I don't want to thrive. I don't want to thrive. I'm okay with surviving. I'm okay with just getting by. I don't want to thrive. I've never met anyone who said, I don't want to thrive. But isn't it interesting that we, 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 we opt out of choices that would lead to us thriving. We settle for less than we could actually have. And today I want us to really talk about thriving because, hey, somebody might say, Benjamin, you're a peak performance coach, you know, you're all about energy, you excite people, you're there in their faces, helping them go for their dreams. I get it if you have, you know, that energy and you want to thrive. But for me, I don't know, life has been a bit this and that. I, I want to share with you something. I, I didn't start this way. I didn't start with this energy of, you know, being excited. There are moments when life didn't make sense. The spaces that I was in and the challenges that I was going through, they just didn't make sense for me. It just felt like, you know, these are the cards that I have been dealt and I just need to do the best with them and hopefully make the best of this life. It's a different place. And I do believe that when we go back to who we are and whose we are and how we've been created, there is a place where you also can thrive. In this week, during my peak performance lunch and learn series, I'll be talking about the mindset for thriving, the motivation for thriving, the methods for thriving. And I want you to join me as we get started today on just sharing two motivations for thriving. As much as I knew very well my desire for thriving, until the motivation was anchored in the two things that I want to share with you here today. I didn't get to the level of thriving that I am at today. And so I want to share with you two things that really ignited my desire to thrive, to not settle for less, to want more and more and more and more. But let me share with you what they are. First of all, let's unpack what is to thrive. What does this word mean? To thrive. It's a term that generally means to prosper, to grow, or to flourish in a positive and healthy way. It implies a state of success and abundance, you know? It, it implies this state, I love that word, the state of success and abundance. It's not on and off. It's, it's, it's you're on, you're in on mode. You know, where you're not just surviving, but you're also experiencing growth and prosperity and you're reaching your fullness in each and every way. Now, thriving is not just to human beings, but it can actually be applied to various aspects of life. You know, your personal well-being, you're thriving. Your business is thriving. Communities are thriving. Ecosystems are thriving. The environment is thriving. And so thriving is a term that generally means to prosper, to grow, to flourish in a positive and a healthy way. I know you desire this. So what are the two motivations that, that really uh, are about thriving? And when we're talking about thriving in the context of the peak performance, lunch and learn, I want you to think about thriving in your faith, thriving in your fitness, thriving in your family, thriving in your fulfilling work, thriving in your finances. It's not one or some. It's all. 
that's when you can truly be said to be thriving at home, at work, and in society. In every way, you're thriving. So what is the first motivation that I believe I want to share with you here today? I do believe that that is what God desires for you. It is what the Creator desires for you. He does not want you to thrive some of the times. He does not want you to thrive in some of the areas of your life. But he wants you to thrive in every way, in every domain of your life. When we go to the scriptures and read 3 John 1, 2, I really believe that God has, you know, a desire greater, greater than ours for us to thrive. And we read in the scriptures, beloved, I pray that in every way, including your puppies, including your garden, including your lawn, including your back, including your muscles, that you prosper. You may prosper and enjoy good health, even as your soul also prospers. At a time when mental health is really a, a, you know, a, a big discussion and a topic in the marketplace and in society, what a good time to talk about thriving. What, what is your motivation for thriving? My motivation for, for thriving was because I wanted to stop running away from poverty. I wanted to stop running away from the bills that were chasing me. I just wanted to <laughs> catch my breath and stop running. I had not tapped into this big idea that actually God wants me to prosper. I had not tapped into the truth that God has created everything in this space for me to, to prosper. I, I had not embraced that truth because I was coming from so much scarcity, so much lack, so much struggle, so much limitation. I just wanted to be, I just wanted to be at the edge. I just wanted to be at the edge. I, I just wanted, I just wanted enough. Because I had had less for so long, I just wanted enough. And I can understand if this idea of thriving is a bit foreign to you. If it sounds like abundance, if it sounds like prosperity, if it sounds like having more than enough. For a very long time, I did not know what it felt like to go to the, to the bank and put my card or write a check and, and, and take out the money I need and still be left with some money in the bank. I, I didn't know what that, it felt a bit abnormal. It felt unusual for a long time. It felt like, you know, the money I got was less than all the needs that I had and I needed to pull it out and I needed to, you know, chop it into, fit into size for the things that I had. The idea of thriving felt foreign and I just wanted enough. I just wanted, I just wanted enough. But here we find that the motivation for us to thrive is that God is saying, I pray. That in every way, you, 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 you and I may prosper and enjoy good health. Even as our soul prospers. Is, is it interesting that society, you know, you see that, you know, somebody is wealthy, but they are not healthy. They have good health, but they are broke. They live in a good house, but they can't even walk. They are bedridden. You know, this this is kind of this. You know, it's, and it's almost like we make agreement with either, with this idea that, you know, when, when you've been given so much in one area, it's okay to be denied in another area. That you have everything in life, but your children are cabbage. That you're so beautiful and you're so smart, but you, 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 you're not smart. Why do we make agreement with these limitations? And in today's episode, as we talk about the motivation for thriving, why do we want to thrive? We want to thrive because it's God's master blueprint for us. When God's vision board is you thriving, God's vision board is you winning at the highest level. God's vision board of you is like, wow, look at Benjamin, look at you who's watching me. That's God's vision board of you winning and thriving at the highest place. Where, where do we find this again in nature? Motivation number two, spirit. Six fuller expression and expansion of its capacity. If you think about who we are and whose we are, we come from God who is spirit. And God has put his, you know, his, his, his put his DNA, his, his, his energy into everything, holding everything together by the power of his might so that everything then can thrive. I mean, what happens to your nails when you cut them? I like to chew them sometimes. They just grow. What happens to my hair? I was not born this way. I had a lot of hair. But every time I cut it, I cut it yesterday. 
it grows again. What happens to my beard? It grows again. What happens to our hands? They grow. Our feet, they grow. The shoes become small. What happens to the trees outside? They grow. Even if when you cut a tree, a stump, you'll still find there's a shoot trying to come up again. Spirit always seeks fuller expression and fuller expansion. So even when you've got, you still want to get more. Why? Because spirit within you expresses itself in fuller ways based on the capacity and the potential that God has placed within you. So right now, it's just like, you know, if I got a million shillings or a million dollars, my love would be sorted. Wait until you get it. And then you, you, then you want another one. You're not greedy. You don't want more because there's something wrong with you. It's not that you're discontent, but spirit always seeks fuller expression and fuller expansion. I believe that our motivations for thriving should be connected to whose we are. And if we can, if we can tap into whose we are, we're coming from a from an abundant God who wants us to thrive in every way. And and if coming from there, we can tap into His reason for us to thrive. What does the Scripture say in John chapter ten verse ten? I came, I came that you may have life, and that you may have it even more abundantly. What do you think about when you think of abundance in your bank account, abundance in your family and relationships, abundance in your fitness, abundance in your family, abundance in your, in your fulfilling work, abundance in your connection and your relationship with God? You know, what, what, what does subscribing to that look like? And that's why I subscribe to thriving. That's why I subscribe to more. That's why I subscribe to more. Clarity, decisiveness, awareness, there's more available. You just need to subscribe to it. What's your motivation for thriving? Or maybe what's your motivation for not thriving? What's the obstacle? What's holding you back? What, what do you sense disqualifies you from thriving? I want you to tune into that because I have created a mentorship program that's purely around thriving at home, work, and society. And I'm inviting you to join me on the Peak Performance Mentorship through Catalyst.ke. Just jump in there, hold your spot for mentorship, and let's begin a conversation about how you can thrive in all the five domain areas of your life, starting today over the next 90 days, thriving. I know this too well because this is a story of my life. I was not thriving, but as soon as I began by drawing a map and a blueprint and a roadmap of how I'm going to get from here where I am, scarcity and limitation and, you know, not thriving to there where thriving in all the five domain areas of my life is possible and I begin to move and take those steps with a mentor, I've arrived there. And when I got there, I, I got another 90 days of thriving. And then when I got there, another 90 days. And in two, three years, you could literally change your life 100%. I know there is more for you. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Peak Performance Lunch and Learn. Come away, Benjamin. Please type in the comments an idea that has really spoken to you, that has inspired you. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you tomorrow in this week as we're talking about thriving. Blessings. Be well. And bye for now.